The three Republican candidates each spent an hour last night taking questions from Anderson Cooper on CNN. Some of Donald Trump's positions are new to American politics and frankly could alter the security of everyone on this planet. Let's bring in Rebecca Berg. She's the national political reporter for Real Clear Politics. Rebecca, thanks for coming. Thank you, Chef. For decades, one of the bedrocks of American foreign policy has been stopping nuclear proliferation and specifically providing security to some of our allies in exchange for, at least in part, that they not seek nuclear weapons. That's been true under all administrations, Republican and Democrat. Donald Trump is promoting a new policy. Listen. To so you have no problem with Japan, Times. South Korea, David having was, nuclear uh, weapons? Uh, at some point, we have to say, you know what, we're better off if Japan protects itself against this maniac in North Korea. We're better off, frankly, if South Korea is going to start to protect itself. Saudi Arabia we nuclear have weapons? Saudi Arabia, absolutely. You They're would be making... fine with them having nuclear weapons? No, not no. nuclear weapons, okay. but they have to protect themselves. But if you say to Japan, yes, it's fine, you get nuclear weapons, South Korea, you as well, and Saudi Arabia says we can want I, them can too. Can I be honest with you? It's going to happen anyway. It's going to happen anyway. It's, it's only a question of time. It's going to happen anyway. Has there been reaction to this? I, I mean, it's it's a completely perplexing statement, given what you said, the context of this being that uh, U.S. policy has been for many, many years to try to limit nuclear proliferation. Uh, the fact that Donald Trump would say, well, it's going to happen anyway, so what does it matter, uh, it really flies in the face of what United States policy has been on this for many, many years. Now, just because it has been the policy doesn't mean it's right. Uh, but if you look at what Donald Trump is saying by suggesting that countries who are under threat of attack by other countries, so South Korea, Japan, under threat of potential attack by North Korea, saying that those countries should have nuclear weapons is kind of akin to the argument of saying a good guy with a gun could stop a bad guy with a gun, except we're talking about nuclear weapons here, Chef, and I think many of our U.S. allies would be very startled to hear this sort of language. And, and the Pentagon, from all that I know of everybody there and the reporting of Jennifer Griffin, the Pentagon... The Pentagon would not be in favor of this proposal. No, no, not at all. And uh, Donald Trump has said that if he is president, he would listen to his generals. I think many of his generals, if he is president, would be suggesting that this is probably an ill-advised policy to be pushing for. Uh, but Donald Trump w was waffling a little bit in his answer with Anderson Cooper. He clearly left a little bit of space there saying that, well, uh, it's going to happen anyway, so what does it matter? Maybe leaving some space to walk this back a little well, bit later on, I but we'll suppose, have to see. I suppose there's space. He also went against the fundamentals of Republican and conservative ideology when he suggested that education, well, li listen to this. So in terms of federal government role, you're saying security, but you also say health care and education should be provided well, by those, the federal those government. Well, those are two of the things. Yeah, sure. There are, I mean, there are obviously many things. Housing, providing uh, great neighborhoods. Because aren't you uh, against the federal government's involvement in education? Don't you want it to devolve to state? No, I want it to go to state. Yeah, absolutely. I want, so that's right not now, part of what the federal government role is. Oh, the federal government, be. but the concept of the country is, is the concept that we have to have education within the country. And we have to get rid of Common Core, and it should be brought to the state. Level, and federal health care run uh, by the federal government. Uh, health care. We need health care for our people. We need a good Obamacare is a disaster. But it's is that what the federal be, government should be doing? Uh, it, the government can lead it, but it should be privately done. I don't even know what happened there. Like the, was, there were two a media. One of the you know the media websites suggests he flip flopped in 11 seconds on that matter. We have all positions <laughs> on all matters. It was incredible, Chef. Cafeteria when I saw that plan. exchange, I just, I couldn't believe it because he goes, I mean, you saw what he said. He said the federal government, one of their top responsibilities other than security should be health care and education and then went on to say, well, actually the states and private corporations should be dealing with this issue. So it's not really clear what Donald Trump believes on this. Maybe he hasn't quite figured it out either, but uh, it's worth noting that Donald Trump certainly hasn't been afraid to uh, undermine Republican orthodoxy, to to test Republican policies that have been uh, stances of the party for a long time, and I would point to trade as one of the major issues where he has gone against the grain, gone against what Republicans have pushed for for many, many years. He is against free trade deals, against things like the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Uh, but education and health care, these are cornerstone issues for Republicans where the Republican Party has said, bring these back to the states to control. The federal government shouldn't be involved. And it sounds like Donald Trump is saying the opposite, that the federal government should be involved so I would like to I would like to see reporters press him on this in the days to come I, th this new matter that has just popped up with Chris Matthews over on MSNBC and I guess he'll air it on hardball tonight but they're reporting on it and the quote is that with these banned abortions 
Women should be punished if they have banned abortions, but the men who were also part of the process should not be punished. This with the backdrop of, of Trump, according to the polls, having serious issues with women across the board, maybe not in, in his own base, but across the board, he's like 74% negative, and, and now there's this. Well, this to me, Chef, sounds, and again, I'm going to have to watch this interview for myself because I haven't seen it yet, uh, but this sounds to me like a little bit of creative phrasing from Donald Trump, saying that abortions that are illegal, people should be punished for those. But in the age of Roe v. Wade, frankly, most abortions are still legal. Uh, and so it sounds like he's trying to talk tough on abortion, but really what he's saying doesn't actually have many real-world implications. Words. Words. <laughs> he has great words. The nice. best ones. Yeah, the best words. Rebecca, thank you. Thank you, Chef.